Hello everyone, this is Professor B and I'm here to show you how to use the video recording tool in a discussion assignment. So discussion assignments are oftentimes linked inside of your content by an instructor, but the easiest way to get to all of the discussions that are available for you to answer is to use the communication tool. So in the top blue toolbar up here next to communication, click the drop down menu, come down to the second selection, which is discussions and click on discussions. This will bring you to all of the available discussions uh, that, are, um, that are here for you to work on in your assignments. We're just going to use the Student Cafe here to record an introduction. So I click on Student Cafe. And this brings me to the discussion board where other students have already introduced themselves. So it's my turn. I need to introduce myself, so I'm going to start a new thread. At the beginning of Start a New Thread, the first thing you have to do is put in a subject similar to a subject in an email. So I'm just going to write uh, Professor B uh, introduction. Then I click on the discussion box. The discussion box is where you would normally uh, record or normally type or write in your introduction or whatever information it is that you are presenting. In this case, however, you are going to be recording a video. This same box is also available to you. This uh, uh, discussion type box is also available to you when you would reply to another student. And using the video posting is a really great, uh, easy and friendly way to reply to another student as opposed to trying to figure out what to type. So the video tool is a really great way to respond to a student. To use the video tool, you'll click on this box right here. You'll see this dark box with a arrow pointing towards the right. If you mouse over it, you can see that it says insert stuff. So click on this box here and you're going to click on add video note. Notice there are other tools available for you here that you can use and we can go over those at another time. For now, we're just going to click video note and we can see record webcam video. Once your webcam kicks in, you can see, hi everybody, here I am. Uh, so you can record your video directly in the D2L discussion box. You don't have to leave the box. The other thing you can do is if you already have an introduction video, maybe you made a video that's really kind of cool and fancy using iMovie or something like that. You are more than welcome to do that. If you wanna do that, you can upload that file right here. So I'm just going to record a simple introduction using the webcam. So here is my new recording. I select this button right here. I click on this and I record my introduction. Hi everybody, I'm Professor B and I'm making this video to show you how to use the uh, video tool in discussions in D2L. Hope you get to use it. Click stop recording. So you get to uh, listen to your video. If you're not sure about it, you can always listen to it again, just selecting the play button there. As long as you are happy with this video, you can select next, next to go ahead and go through the video. If you're not happy with it and you wanna redo it, you can select new recording and re-record your introduction. Now you, once you're happy with it and you have the recording that you want, you can select next. Now it may take a, a minute or two for that to render. You're now going to give your uh, video a title. This is so if later on you wanna do a search for this particular video, you can do that. So I'm gonna uh, uh, label this as introduction, as a professor introduction. You can even write a description here, just so you know what it is. And select next. Now your video may take a moment to render. It'll give you this little note here. If you want to just see it later and not if it's a longer video, you have up to 30 minutes of recording time. If it's a really long video for an assignment, say a speech or something like that, then you would um, select insert and you can come back later and watch it. Uh, this is a pretty short video, so I'm gonna select refresh preview. And there it is. My video was only 13 seconds. So here is my video. If I want to play it again, I can do that just to make sure that it's the one that I want. If I'm good with it, I select insert. 
and now it's inserted into my uh, response shell here, the, the discussion shell. If there's anything that you want to type in here, um, I hope you enjoy my video. You can type that into your response box and you can select post. Now that my discussion is posted, I can go and take a look at it. So let's see what my, my post looks like. Here's my post. I can play it. So there is my video. Now, if you watch someone else's video and you are asked to reply to another student, you can select reply. And you can reply using the insert stuff tool up here and create your own video in the post. Um, when responding, it's preferred by faculty or for by your, your instructors that you respond directly in the box. Uh, sometimes the attachments are, they, they don't play very well. So if you're going to use video as a response, your best option is to record it directly in the discussion box itself so that um, everyone can view it more easily. I hope you enjoyed learning how to use the discussion tool and I hope this makes uh, life in discussions a little more engaging and exciting. If you have any questions or have any trouble using this tool, please feel free to let me know. Hope you enjoy using it.